What is up my friends? Today is new bike day and today I'm getting my bike out of this barn. Yeah, that's right. I'm 10 miles away from my front door. This place is called Reeb. It's part of the Oscar Blues family. They make awesome bikes and I ordered one of these bad boys many months ago and it is time to pick it up. This is bike paradise right here. And there's my man, Adam. What's up, buddy? What's up, Ryan? How's it going? I'm doing great. Hi, buddy. What's your name? That's Quincy. Hi. Give me a high five, bud. Oh, yeah. Is this my bike? This is your bike. Oh, I'm so excited. So tell me first a little bit about Reeb, how it got started. Well, uh, Reeb was started about uh, seven or eight years ago by Dale Katechis. Um, he wanted to uh, start a bike company after his bike was stolen, and he decided to pull his resources and make it happen. We understand that there's a big market for all types of bikes. We've got everything from still hardtail single speeds all the way up to aluminum full suspension bikes. Uh, the bike culture here is um, just hardworking fellas that like to ride bikes. Everything is made right here. Uh, we machine all the aluminum for the squeeb right here. All of the steel bikes are cut, welded, and powder coated right here also. And what's your background? How'd you get into making bikes? I know you're a bike racer. Yeah, so a uh, big past of just growing up in a garage. Uh, my dad taught me uh, to always work on your own things, learn how to do stuff, buy your own tools. And over time, I just realized that I couldn't afford to pay bike shops to work on my stuff. It's like, okay, time to just take it into my own hands. So um, I'm the head frame builder here now and uh, machinist, welder, uh, pretty much we do everything in here. And what's the benefit of buying a, you know, an American made bike? So the biggest thing is we don't have a uh, long time frame to develop new product. If there is a new trend in, in the mountain bike world or if there's a new product come out, we can be right on it. And also all of us ride bikes, so we can really dial in a bike how, how it should ride, not just how it looks on paper. Um, a lot of times the bikes that are designed overseas, um, an engineer will you know, develop a suspension curve and then it'll send it over to Taiwan and six months to a year down the road, they get to ride that and maybe it doesn't work well. This way we can prototype bikes rapidly and we can get on something that feels good on the train that we ride. Wow. All right, so let's talk about the Squeeb, man. You designed this thing, you race on this thing. Let's go through it a little bit. Yeah, so uh, the Squeeb is development over the past four years. Uh, started off as a 140 millimeter travel bike. Uh, we haven't changed the overall suspension dynamic too much. Uh, what we've really done is fine tuned it to um, shocks that you can buy without custom tuning. So with this lower shock mount, we developed this modular mount to be able to run two different stroke shocks. Um, also with multiple different positions that work really well with coil and air setups. Racing this bike has been huge. Uh, it's really hard to replicate um, riding conditions that you know anybody across the U.S. would um, you know find themselves on. But racing it, you're really pushing the limits, and I've I've been able to. Uh, find a lot in this bike to improve on over the years. We've really beefed up the rocker. We added a bridge to tie the rocker together. We went to a trunnion shock mount, so it's a bearing mount. It's much stiffer. So this is the Cane Creek double barrel air. Um, the shock is awesome. With It has a um, climb switch, so you can uh, firm up the, the shock for when you're climbing. So this is real world bike design. This isn't, you know, just on paper. This is, we're going out and proving it. And these shocks is a Colorado company, right? Yeah, MRP. This is the MRP ribbon. They're based out of Grand Junction. Uh, we're also running the Cane Creek rear shock. So that's also a USA product. Same thing with the I-9 wheels. Uh, we try to 
we try to get into the USA made product as much as we can. We're looking at the products that are coming out and we're designing a bike that works really well with products. So that way you're not just getting a bike that works with some OEM component that all the big manufacturers use. We really dial in the best products that we like to ride. If you look at, the, if you look at our stock builds, you'll realize that these are the builds that we ride on our personal bikes. Um, we don't skimp on handlebars and stems and seats. It's the stuff that we want to ride. This thing's amazing. Hell yeah, man. Ah, you're no, the man. I love my new bike so much, I can hardly contain myself. I'm so excited to ride this thing, and I'm actually going to ride it home. And I just want to say thank you to somebody right here. My mom, she drove me down here today. Thank you. Yeah, as always. Yeah. <laughs> as always. We were reminiscing on the car ride over that she's brought me to um, bike shops a few times in my life when I bought my, my bicycles. My Trek 8000 back in high school. And now at age 40, she's still driving me around. Thanks, mom. Yeah, yeah it's a beauty. <laughs> it's a beauty, isn't it? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, so beautiful. Uh-oh, trail closed. Darn it. So I was kind of bummed out that I did not get to ride the trail that I was really hoping to, but it is January in the Rocky Mountains, and when it's not snowy, a lot of times the trails are muddy and they keep the bikers off the trail because otherwise they get kind of destroyed. So I was forced to take the boring way home. Well, I shouldn't say boring. These just aren't like epic mountain bike trails. And these trails actually have a lot of sentimental value to me. Here's a fun fact about this beautiful area here. These are the trails where I fell in love with mountain biking back when I was 13 or something. I had an old Diamondback Sorrento, cherry red, and I'd ride these trails all the time. And this is where I fell in love with riding in the dirt. I am really excited about this bike, and I know we're going to go on a lot of amazing adventures together, and I'm pumped because I've never had a bike with this much suspension, where I'm going to be able to do things that I've never done before, and I've kind of gotten away from mountain biking the past 10 or so years when I fell in love with bike packing so I'm excited to get back into like full-on mountain biking. Olé, 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 olé. I first found out about Reeb when I borrowed one of their bicycles when we rode from Durango to Moab. It was a different bike, much different, a hardtail, not nearly as much suspension and I really loved the feel of that bicycle. And you know, I'm psyched to have a bike that's made down the road from my house. These guys are putting out a lot of cool stuff into the world and their passion really shows. And no, they didn't pay me to make this video or give me a free bike. I just think what they're doing is rad. So go check up their whole lineup of bikes at reebcycles.com and stay tuned for more adventures on this bike and all my other bikes and my running adventures and please like and subscribe and have an awesome day. Well, there you have it, the inaugural ride on my Squeeb. Oh, I love this bike.